and subscribe today. Let's see what we've got in store for us. A Leo. Alright. Let's see what's next. Soul. Nope. Dr. Lean. Alright, let's see if we can book an appointment with the doc. What kind of doc do you, th do you think Dr. Lean is? I'd say he's probably a fucking podiatrist or something. Be fighting this Otto one, baby. Damn. My controller's so greasy, bro. Hold up. Alright. Um. What do I even do here? My shit is. My shit is so greasy. I could. I mean, I could play. I I'm gonna need to. I'm gonna need to wipe this off, bro. This is kind of crazy. Cleaner actually made my shit more greasy. I'm not gonna lie. Nope. Oh, yeah. See, I'm. Uh, funny little trend you'll see here in this game is I'm. Uh, I'm not very good. I don't. I don't play very often as of right now. But I am trying to trying to play a little more. So play a little, a little more strive. So, but I don't take this game. Uh, I think I, I think I should put a disclaimer here, guys. Uh, if you're coming here for like very serious like analytical guilty gear strive content uh this is probably not the place i just play this game i goof off it's really not that serious for me at the end of the day it's a game and you know it's kind of how i operate if you're uh if you're looking for me to you know make the pro the perfect moves 100 percent of the time and be like some amazing guilty gear player you're y you kind of came for the wrong to the wrong place but i'm sorry um but yeah, I don't mind, uh, eh, I'm not gonna give you this whole life story, it doesn't really matter. Those guys you can hear in the background, by the way, those are, those are my birds, uh, my, my two roommates over there. They've been late on this week's rent, so I told them to actually find a job, so I guess they're conducting an interview there in the background. It would be, you know, people are always talking about, like, how, oh, I wish my bird could, like, speak English, right? And they always, whenever I tell people I have birds there, their first question they ask is, like, oh, do they speak English, right? And I'm like, well, okay, here's the thing, bro. If I have any pet, right, I'd want to be able to understand that. Like, I'd want to be able to speak bird, bro. I wouldn't want to, I, I, I'm kind of confused as to how, like, scientists really haven't figured it out, like, if these languages are so, like, basic and inferior to ours, like, how come we can't understand them now? I don't know. I mean, just, just something to think about. I like, because the thing is, I like my birds. I've had birds for a while, long time, like, the first, like, ten years of my life. And they've just been, I don't know, they've always been really close. I've always kind of wondered... If I could uh, hear what they were saying, what, what what would they be saying? You know. Ouch! I keep jumping. I I don't know why. I know that's like not the right move to do. I just do it. <laughs> Simply just the best guilty gear strive player. All right. I thought that would actually do the super, but I guess not. <laughs> Dr. Lean, baby. How do I, how do I, like, schedule an appointment with this man? Like, where is his, does he got a website or something? Alright, Shadow Man. Eh. Yeah. That's what you get. Trying to poke me with that weird shadow needle. See, that was just button mashing, bro. <laughs> That's what I like about Strive. You just you just button mash, and it's fun. That's also why this game is garbage, though. You need y'all to realize that. Mm. Ah! Got him. The old, the old jump and press circle. Works every time. By every time, I mean, like... 40% of the time I use it. 
Which move should I use? I'm trying to do that uh that jump and split kick thing, but it's not a uh, can't do it too can't do it quick enough. Oh. Ah, too slow. You're too slow. Probably Sonic. Did I leave that light on? I think I left that light on. Hold on, I'm gonna go turn it off. I'm trying to pet my dog. Relax, buddy. Petting the dog. Get. This nigga is racist, bro. I'm like trying to remember all the different moves that I have right now. Y y literally in my head, I'm going through like a catalog of like the different moves with like pictures and everything. I'm just like, mm, which one do I pick? <laughs> well, this is most of me. This is most of the gameplay. I wish you. I wish there was like a camera like inside my head so you could see it. It's it's, it's amazing. Oh. Oh man, my God. Yo, I gotta do some stretching real quick. Hold up, man. How 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 I'm gonna stretch and play Guilty Gear Strive at the same time? Let's see. Oh. Alright. I wish y'all could see this position. Uh, I'm like I'm like doing that like shoulder stretch where you like put your arms over your head, but I got the controller with me. It's actually still working. I'm still getting a decent stretch, but I can't really do both and play the game. God damn. Uh. Uh, yeah, you gotta make sure, guys. By the way, big, big, big pro tip, pro life tip here. Make sure you stretch. <laughs> you will like really save yourself a lot of time and pain in the future if you just like every day you go to like the gym, or honestly, just every day you wake up in general. Just like, just stretch, man. It's pretty, pretty easy. I don't know. It's an easy way for me to. I don't know. That's the easy way I know to improve your life. I could also, oh yeah, that, that, that you know, I, I, that, that, that brings me to an interesting point I have. The, um, I could never, I don't understand the point of a career, like being, like a lawyer, or like a doctor, or an astronaut, or something like that, because it just gets, like, don't you get tired of it, bro? Your whole identity is just being, like, single-handedly, like, um... A doctor or like a lawyer or an astronaut or whatever you only get that one single identity so I'm not really understanding like I don't know I just don't get how that could be appealing if, if your career is like your whole life like that like you never get a break are you fucking kidding me a Kai player um eh. alright uh sorry guys fuck um My bad. Got a little distracted there. But yeah, if you wanna, um, I just never really understood. Like, wouldn't you get tired of it, like, learning astrophysics and stuff like that? And then all the classes you have to take. Literally, it has to be your whole identity. Like, I, I just couldn't. I, I, I don't know. There's too much, there's much, there's too much to life for, to be, like, that engaged in one, like, little, tiny little facet of it. I don't know. At least that's, that's, that's how it is for me. Like, I, I, I just, there, I don't know. There's, there's, there's a lot. There's a lot. You know, life is, life is, life is, life is much, and you couldn't experience. I bet you just can't really experience much of it, or really too much of any of it, if you're sit, uh, sitting up there cooped up in some room running some math equations. You know, the pay ain't worth it, man. I wanna, I wanna get actual life experience, and I'm so glad. I wasn't smart enough to get into one of those careers, I don't know. But I'm not, and that's not dissing anybody, by the way, who is in one of those professions. Like, it's a very respectable career, and you put a lot of work into it, don't get me wrong. It's just something I can never do, because, like, I would get bored, man. I, you know. Eventually, yeah, I'd have to do something else. My back is killing me, dude. 
Also, now uh, this may be like the one time I'm gonna shit talk my opponent's character, but Kai Kisuke is really boring to play. Like, I don't really get why people play him. He just has like the same. He, his combos consist consist of doing like the same three moves, and I can't even play him as a joke. Like, it's it, it's not even fun. <laughs> He's just an ab just an absolute waste of time. <laughs> I don't know, man. I feel like if you play Kai Kisuke, you just want free wins. But anyways. He, he's probably the, my least favorite character to fight against because of that. And, and Sin. Because it's like, it's just the same moves with them over and over again. You know? But it's alright. I mean, I'm not sitting, it's not like I'm sitting here trying to get like immaculate gameplay. If I want to, if I want to play an actual game and like have fun, I'm going to play like Pizza Tower or Nier or, you know, Metal Gear or Neon White or something like that, right? <coughs> Actually, or even controversial opinion, I, I I I played Super Meat Boy forever. I think that game is actually pretty fun. I'm not gonna lie. I haven't. Now let me tell you, I actually haven't played it since it like came out. Um, and I got it originally initially on the Switch. I think I got it like in back in what was it 2017 or 2018 when it 2019. I'm pretty sure was when it came out. Um, or 2020, right? I got it then, and. I beat it, and I thought it was pretty good. I had a good time with it. I, it was a while ago, like I was back in high school back then. It doesn't. I was. I'm not gonna say I was like a total dumbass because I was definitely like a little bit smarter than I am now in some areas. But like, I definitely wasn't as mature, and I probably couldn't. You know, I, I would kind of play whatever was put in front of me at that point. You know, I still had the Nintendo Switch back then. God, God knows what I was playing in my spare time. <laughs> but um. Yeah, I don't know. I, I had a, a pretty fun time with Super Meat Boy Forever. I think that game's actually pretty pretty decent. Um, a lot of people say it's not as good as the original. And I'm not going to lie, I disagree. I think it's just new. It's just new. It's just entirely different. Like, um, one, of the main one of the main complaints I saw with that game is it's hard to 100%. God damn. Like, one of the legitimate complaints I saw in a Steam review was like, Oh, it takes too long. 100% or it's like not worth the effort or whatever and I can I can really agree more like I I don't think a game like that is worth 100% because there's just no real like the, the amount of effort I don't remember exactly what they said so don't even try and ask me about any of the specifics or anything don't expect me to like go into detail about what technically what like what was even wrong about the game but all, all I remember it was that something about like the RNG levels made it really hard to 100% them. I don't remember the exact point they made, but they made a really good point, and I could totally agree with it. So yeah, that's that's a legitimate point, right? I would never actually try, I would never actually go into a game like Super Meat Boy Forever and be like, yeah, let me 100% this crap. Like, no, it's just not that kind of game, I'm sorry. For, at least for me, but I get, I get that some people don't really have the ability to just be like, hey, this is a game, it doesn't really matter to me, right? Like, some people are just like that. They have to 100% whatever, and they have to get um, they have to put, like, 100% of their effort in or whatever. So, you know, I, I can totally understand it. Um, but, it, yeah, I don't know. I, it's a pretty solid game, in my opinion. I think it's fun. Um, I think the mechanics are decently flushed out. Um, and they're, they're pretty well explored throughout the level's mechanics. The, I had some weird levels that I, were, like... First of all, I couldn't find a lot of the pacifiers. I'm not gonna lie. Those were way too hidden. And my main complaint is that, yeah, that was probably one of my biggest complaints. And then another one is that some of the levels were, like, literally unplayable from what I remember. Like, and I don't mean unplayable. Like, there were there was at least one, just one or two of the levels where I couldn't figure out, like, how to get past a certain segment. And I would, I, I, I swear they were impossible, but maybe I, again, was just a stupid motherfucker back then and I didn't know what I was doing. But, you know, um, it, it's just little things like that that make the game a little worse. But I want to say the one thing I really liked about the game was the game's special stages. The, um, what's it called? The warp zones. Yeah, that's what they are. Those were so cool, dude. The way they did, um, they had one for Mortal Kombat, F-Zero. Um, I'm pretty sure they had, like, a Mega Man one, too. It was pretty awesome, dude. Playing through all of them was super sick, and I, w I wasn't able to, I think I was able to unlock, um, one of the, one of the, one of the special characters, but, yeah, it was, it was, it was super dope having, like, being able to play as, like, a fucking car, and, like, 
uh, the, the the meat man, the weird like meat Mortal Kombat dude, right? It was super cool, you know. Um, and it, it, you know, that kind of creativity is why is exactly why I love the game. Not necessarily because it's like, you know, this fantastic like well fleshed out platformer or whatever, right? It's not fucking game of the year or anything. But just seeing that level of creativity in a video game, it was really refreshing, you know? I hadn't seen, especially because I had been playing on the Nintendo Switch, right? I didn't see too many, you know, decent games back then. So, seeing something with that level of creativity that was willing to go that outside of the box, um, on at least on the Nintendo Switch, that was pretty awesome to me. I don't know. It, it opened my mind a little bit. But I'm glad, you know, nowadays I have, um, you'll probably hear my thoughts about Nintendo and, uh, in another, another, you know, separate video, and obviously I'm probably gonna, you know, I have pretty strong beliefs, so I'm gonna make them pretty clear, but, um, I don't really, I don't really use Nintendo consoles anymore, I'm not a big Nintendo Switch guy, I'm not a big, um, Super Smash Bros, or, like, Mario Kart or anything guy, I used to be, but I realized they were not gonna, like, consistently release the same quality of content over at Nintendo, and basically, you know, kinda sitting there and expecting them to actually produce something decent was a waste of time. Um, that's kind of what I realized over the years, and especially nowadays, like, oh man, they, it's rough, it's going rough over there for them, they're, they're having a rough time. Yeah, that was Guilty Gear Strive. If you, uh, if you watch this content, uh, be sure to interact with the video. I don't know, if you liked it, like it. If you disliked it, dislike it. Um, comment something. I don't really care what it is. Comment. I don't care if it's two words, two letters. Some profound, something stupid. I don't really care. I mean, I just, it'd be nice if you interacted with the video. Uh, and yeah, uh, have, a, have a great day.